How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I am here, out and about, riding my bike. You can see my bike, my son's bike, my wife's bike. We're out on the Van Fleet Trail, started from the Polk City Trailhead. They are down at the Nature Walk. It's not seen there. You go, Nature Trail. They're back down that trail, right down there. I unfortunately only have my cycling shoes and the camera around. Yeah, with these cleats on the bottom, they don't work too well walking in the dirt. So, why am I here today? Because I read something pretty interesting on Twitter this morning that it's the anniversary of Benjamin Butler. Now, I'm not talking about Curious Case of Benjamin Butler, the movie with, what was it, Brad Pitt, I think. I'm not sure about that. But I am talking about General Benjamin Butler, who some would call the scapegoat of Abraham Lincoln, but others would call the guy who just came in and did what he wanted in New Orleans, okay? Well, let me talk about that for a second. See, Benjamin Butler was the general that was placed in charge of New Orleans after the city was captured, right? Well, guess what? They didn't like the Union, which I guess it's kind of fair to expect, you know, from people living down there. But because they disliked the Union so much, they treated the soldiers horribly, okay? They were not civil to them at all. And he issued Order 28, and this will go down in history as, well, I don't know if I'd say the worst order in history, but... The most, what word do I want to use? How about the most non-politically correct order ever given? And what I mean by that is it was an order that all women in the city of New Orleans should be treated as prostitutes. Now, the actual order, and when I edit this, if you're watching this on replay, you should see something coming up on the screen over here somewhere. It basically said that treat women, you know, and ask them their vocation and treat them as hostile until proven otherwise, rather than treating them like Victorian ladies and treating them with, you know, chivalry. So, what happens? Eh, word gets around pretty quick and the order gets rescinded, but not before it makes it all the way to England and all the way to Washington and all that good stuff. But let me tell you, there's something that came out of this. Benjamin Butler... Well, this was happening beforehand. I'll backtrack just a hair. Benjamin Butler was pushing this, you know, the Union soldiers out to the city to maintain order. And because they were not being treated well, this is what was happening to them. The women were spitting on the soldiers, who were spitting on the men, right? That's not all. Because remember, there was no indoor plumbing at the time. So you know what they used? Chamber pots. And guess what? Those chamber pots would be dumped from the second story window onto the soldiers. Well, you can see why Butler was upset. So after this order was issued, Benjamin Butler's image started being placed inside chamber pots. And again, once I had it, this, you'll see a picture right about there of Benjamin Butler's face inside chamber pots. That's what they thought of him. So just wanted to share the story of Benjamin Butler with you. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later for Virtual History 360. I'll see you next time.